Hello. After when you machine your um, sleeve to your armhole, so I've done it in the color of my um, top fabric. So I didn't do it in red. Um, so you can see that. So I've done that all, or, all around. So you have to, just to iterate, you have to machine it from the sleeve. Don't machine it from the, um, the actual main gown because our sleeve is bigger. So it distributes better when you machine it from the sleeve. So the next part would be is to check your seam allowance, make sure nothing is being caught. And also, um, you know, it's quite normal when you machine your sleeve, you, sometimes you try and you have to trim your seam allowance further. Um, it's more I'm, I'm talking about is the pitch, the pitch point where the balance point there, where you definitely have to, um, definitely have to trim it. Um, so I've done it already. So I left it one centimeter here at the bottom, which is definitely underneath of your armhole, which is um, creates more space. At the um, the top one, I left it 1.5, so I didn't do. But you can trim it absolutely fine if you want to trim it to, to one centimeter. I would not go further than that, um, just in case. But it's absolutely fine to trim it to one centimeter at the bottom from your um, pinch point. Okay, so um, that's right. So then make sure you take your tucking out because you've got so many tucking going on. Um, so you, you mark the armhole as well uh, before you machined. You, um, you have to tuck your canvases, that's another tucking. Then you have to, to base your sleeve into your insert sleeve, into your um, armhole. And there's a lot of tucking. So therefore is that's the time now when you check everything is fine and you're happy take your tracking um it's going to be unfortunately there's no um uh, way to do it um you just need to spend a little bit of time and just taking it you know bits by bits very carefully snip one side snip another side go and then just pull it very carefully just be careful don't um cut your stitchings by accident now when you've done that the next part would be to machine that um, armhole again in the same position, so from the sleeve, in the same place to the same line. If it's too dark, you can draw the actual chalk line where your, um, where your stitches are. Uh, I would advise you to do that because during the um, picking your um, tucking threads, sometimes you can snip by accident your, um, the actual machining stitching and also to reinforce the sleeve because in certain places it's quite um, could be quite stretchy a little bit and it can break the your um, break your thread. So my advice would be to um, reinforce that machine stitching and um, machine it again in the same place. Try not to go any further unless you know um, uh, only into that machining um, stitch. Otherwise, it will just become such a mess. So you have to be careful. The second, for some reason, second machine stitching is always somehow spoils. So that's why you have to be quite careful. Now, for um, the next part we need to do is we need to go and to insert the ice wall, which is that uh, fabric I already mentioned. And um, we're going to measure how much you need to insert. And it will go into your sleeve and particularly into the head of your sleeve to actually to lift your sleeve up. And so the, the sleeve doesn't collapse and doesn't you lose the shape you actually have created with the iron because you work so hard on creating a shape. So we need to support that. And also we'll look during the process wearing, wearing it, you know, it's, it's important actually the sleeve still stays in the same place, especially if you go to dry cleaning and so on. So, um, so yeah, so that area needs to be supported. So now you've got um, ice wool. So you need it um, roughly, so if I just say, so you need it about uh, 15 to, um, 13 to 15 centimeters. And um, the length we're just going to find out. That's the open one. So we I fold it in half like that, and then I'm um, start my um, my ice wool from the actual. See, you've got seam allowance from the seam allowance, the inside of your under sleeve. 
So, and just like by pinning like that or folding, so you can measure exactly how much you need. So be careful not to stretch too much. So, and then you um, go to the seam allowance, which is on the other side. So you've got two seam allowance there and two seam allowance. Yeah, seam allowance here. So you go further to, to that one underarm. And so measure and find out how much you need to about, so yeah, where it's the seam allowance finished, roughly there. And I'm going to cut that away. So that's too much, okay? So cut that part away. Now, what I would like you to do is open your ice wool again, then fold it again, but so one will be longer than another. So it's quite important that you do that, okay? Um, so it's gradual, so it doesn't stop on the same place. And next part I would like you to do is fold it in half like that. And then I would like you to do is to cut it like a moon shape. That way. Okay, so just make it more curvy, that's all. So, so when you open it, so just move that slightly over like that. There we go. So just going to slightly make it more. Let's correct it. So yeah, move that one side to another side like that. So can you see? So one is longer than another, and both in the like um, both curved. Now find um, so center, but actually it's um, it's best to do is one of your points. So make sure the longer part goes with the sleeve, and then you attach your um, start with the seam allowance. So where's the seam allowance? You cover completely all your seam allowance. That way, matching with the age of your uh, seam allowance, the, the age of your fold, the age on the ice wool, matching with the age of your seam allowance. And then use, I will advise you to use those big pins. You see that? Big pins, because you can see the head and the bigger, you can see the head of the pins as well. Um, otherwise, the smaller one just sink inside and then you can't find them or can't see them. And you just following your all your seam allowance. Uh, just don't stretch your ice wool. That's one of the quite important part. Too much, yeah. So make sure it's just lays uh, nice and flat. So you can open your armhole like this, and then just lay your um, ice wool, and, and then carry on and carry on that. So ooh, make sure. Is still one side is longer than another. Okay. And carry on pinning along your seam allowance. Okay. So there we go. And then it should breach, hold on, sorry, it should. Um, it should actually come to and cover your seam allowance on another side. Okay, so that supports this. Okay, just going to move that so it gets a little bit too much. There you go. It's quite easy to, to pin it. So yes, yeah, so if it doesn't lace flat, just make sure and pin it, pin it again and all will be fine. Yeah. Okay. And then this um, goes, just covers your seam allowance. There we go. So um, make sure it's the same length as your seam allowance. So now that is done. And next part would be is tucking your, um, will be talking your ice wool to your seam allowance. And I'm going to show you that in the next video, how I'm doing it. So it's quite important for you to see as well. And I'm going to do in red thread, um, but it's important where you're talking, how you are touching it. I see you in the next video. Bye.